Which you guys got another video here for you, another shocker from Microsoft. Microsoft account soon to be mandatory. So Microsoft have confirmed that it is removing the popular command line that allows people to bypass the false Microsoft account during the setup process. So basically what Microsoft are doing is now removing the uh, out of box experience, which is the OOBE backslash bypass NRO. They're going to be removing that from the build. We'll take a closer look at that in a second. So if you're installing Windows 11, like I'm showing you right here, and you get to this window, normally what we do right here is we would push Shift F10 to open up a command prompt, and I'll show you that in a second. But if you disconnect the internet like you used to back in the day, you used to pull the Ethernet cable out, you would get, oops, your connection has been lost. What Windows 11 does now is it doesn't allow you to go forward it wants you to either install a driver to get your internet working or you have to plug in the cable this is where we used to type uh, shift f10 on the keyboard and this would open up our command prompt so we can then put in our command to bypass this now microsoft have really tried their hardest to make it really difficult for you to be able to install windows like this to be able to bypass it to go to a local account they want you to initially set up your pc with a Microsoft account so they get your email and so they get some details from you so they know who you are. So you can see here, I've just typed OOBE uh, backslash bypass NRO. This is still going to work for a little while because it hasn't been released yet. I've got a suspicion that Microsoft may release this feature in 25H2. Uh, it could be forced out and pushed out to 24H2 later on. I really don't know but I'll show you the newsletter that Microsoft put out. So basically, once you put in the OOBE backslash bypass NRO, you can now see I don't have an internet connection right here, and it allows people to then install Windows 11 without having an internet connection, and it also allows us to set up a local account rather than having a Microsoft account. And this is something a lot of people want. The most people that use Windows 11 do not want a Microsoft account. So unfortunately, they have blocked this method. And this method has been the go-to method for a lot of people for quite a while. But there is a workaround. But announcing Windows 11 inside a preview build 26200.5516 in the dev channel, this is the one that they are doing it on. They are actually working on it right now. And there's a lot of information about some of the changes that they are making and this will be a future build for windows 11 whether that'll be on 24 h2 or whether they're gonna wait until they push this out on 25 h2 i really don't know we'll have to wait and see until the information comes a bit more clearer later on down the line but what i can tell you this article is telling you is basically the reasons why they have removed that particular feature from this build or windows itself it's a pretty scummy move from Microsoft, I think, to do this because they're forcing people to use something that they don't want to use. But in the other section right here, it says we are removing the bypass uh, nro.cmd script from the build to enhance security and user experience of Windows 11. I mean, you've got to laugh at that because obviously... It's not enhancing the user experience. It's actually making it worse. This change ensures that all users exit setup with internet connectivity and a Microsoft account. So it says right there, their intentions is to make sure you are connected to the internet and you are forced to use a Microsoft account. And they are going through this with a fine tooth comb and removing every single thing they can to stop you uh, using this feature. Now, there is a registry key that you can add in right now on that build if i put the build onto a virtual machine you can add this uh, registry key in and it allows that feature to come back into play but i guarantee you microsoft are going to remove this particular registry key and remove this feature altogether and you're not going to be able to use this in the future to be able to bypass uh, the sign-in now that being said there is already a much better uh, work around than using this method and I'll make that in tomorrow's video and you'll be able to see it on how to bypass uh, the signing on Windows 11 to be able to get to a local account rather than being forced 
into a Microsoft account. So stay tuned for that one. That's coming tomorrow. But let me know all your thoughts in the video description, what you think uh, of this and why Microsoft are putting so much effort into doing things like this to hinder users from using a local account instead of a Microsoft account. Surely it should be a choice rather than being forced you to use a Microsoft account. If you don't want to use one, that should be an option to be able to opt out rather than forcing people to sign in first and then opt out afterwards once you're at the desktop because then they've got your details. Anyway, with that said, I'll be interested to read your comments. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. I shall catch you in the very next video or I'll catch you on our Discord server. The link is in the video description if you fancy a chat. Bye for now.